So a little bit earlier on, we had the toss of the coin. Peter Hanscom, the captain, tossing it up. And Peter Hanscom wins the toss and says to Jordan Silk, you can have a bat. Bowling going over the wicket and Jewel crunching it through the offside. And that's the first boundary of the morning. Through cover point. The first half volley, really, that Boland's bowled. In the air and safe. And out to the rope for four again. Wasn't far away at all. Edging this time. Oh, what a catch. Sensational catch by Sutherland. Diving forward and to his left. And the danger man is out. Oh, that one's very, very close. And out. So Scott Boland has two. And Tasmania, two for 21. To Sam Harper. Sutherland in again. Oh, that's up, Bish. And easily caught. And Mitch Perry, 12th man, and he's very happy. He's in the game. And that's a very soft dismissal. Jake Weatherall going. Oh, that's a good shot in the air. Oh, no, it's not a good shot. He has found Fergus O'Neill, who didn't have to move. Off the bat, I thought he picked it up perfectly. Maybe one just to break the shackles. Oh, oh. is that oh. an edge? It is. So Jonathan Merlo has come into the attack as the sixth bowler, and he's picked up the huge wicket of Matthew Wade. The faint edge, well gloved by Sam Harper, looking to lash it through point. Spectacular start to his first class career last year. That is a very firm drive, and that is another boundary, and that is a half century for Bo Webster with his sixth boundary, and most of them have come in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Owen now back on strike to O'Neill. He's bowled! Owen trying to lift it over the onside, getting down on one knee. One of the Ashes squad. As Dooley here will get a run. Nice shot into the deep. At least one. Harris set was quick. Dooley wants a second. Close. He's out. Terrific work from Harris in the deep. Oh, that's a good hit down the ground. That's gone for six. As uh, we have Elliot back into the attack. And Webster's just... Climbed into that one and hit it over the top for six. Back in, but... Oh, he's hit that one high. Has he hit it far enough? No, he hasn't. Well caught by Murphy in the deep at square leg. That's an important wicket for Victoria late in this innings. They're going to take the bye and the wickets have been disturbed. So we have the end of the innings. He's a busy batsman and he's going aerial on this occasion, just uh, lobbing it over square leg, trickling towards the rope, and the ball wins the race. In fact, it was a, wasn't much of a race in the end at all. There was no fielder in sight. So ha Harper underway. As Meredith bowls again. A top edge from ha Harper and easily caught. By Weatherall there at mid wicket. The first wicket does fall. Sam Harper on his way. That extra speed, although he looked as he actually threw his shot. And the leading edge just ballooned to Jake Weatherall. Rainbird in again. That's a more authentic that's shot, a shot, and that's a boundary. Just a lovely punch drive away on the offside, right out of the screws. And Tom Rogers picks up a boundary. His first. It's a massive season for him ahead. Harris will pick up a run here. And uh, right on cue, Jordan Silk diving spectacularly away to his right. Oh, big thick edge there. And third man up inside the circle. And that'll run down to the wide third man rope for four. Oh, that is a lovely straight drive. You can save your legs. This exact shot is the reason why I think Marcus Harris should be the next opener for Australia. One for five. He starts a fourth over and he goes for four as well. Drop short. Rogers in position really quickly. Pounced on it. Nine that ball and that ball's moving. Harris is uh, cutting 
on this occasion. Well, it was sort of half a cut, half a back foot punch. Beautiful placement. Not a big gap between the man forward of point and backward point. Wow, maybe only eight or nine metres. Meredith to continue. And that'll be a boundary as well. They persist with having third man up inside the circle. Stanley again to Harris, oh, who's gone! It. To bowl with a ball that is so new. Oh, that's short, and that's been given the treatment. Peter Hanscom has lifted that over the top and over the top of the rope, and that's gone for six. That's the first genuine bad ball that Dooley's bowled, and that's a total gift. Had a few new issues. Rogers goes with the pull shot. Has he got enough of it? You bet you he has. That's gone all the way. What a shot from Rogers. Hasn't been that easy. Oh, gone! Yes, Rogers is out. Caught behind for 45. Owen gets a wicket in his first over. Rogers cannot believe it. Five short of a half century. Half century. And he'll pick it up with a lovely flick off the pads out through mid-wicket. He jogs to the non-striker's end and immediately firstly acknowledges the applause. Then that was the gesture. He wouldn't mind a change of gloves. So with Webster bowling. The oh, he chopped oh, yeah. on. There you go. So the change in bowling has done the trick. And with the angled blade, Peter Hanscom can't believe it. I was just about to say, he's still batting deep in his in his crease. Bold. Oh. Webster strikes again with the ball coming back in to the right-hander and right through the gate. Oh, that makes it a little bit more attainable because that's been whacked into the stands. Huge hit. <laughs> Oh, that's high on the bat. That's gone straight up in the air, and Callaway is out. Four short of a half century. Jordan Silk taking the easiest catch he will take all summer. It's stylishly played by Elliot into backward point. And Tremaine, Holland, and Jackson Cole. Fair line up. There's another wicket. There is another wicket. Elliot has gloved one through to Matthew Wade. And are we going to see a similar grandstand finish? The short ball from Billy Stanlake. And this time he uh, gets underneath it. He does clear mid on. In fact, he clears the rope and finishes it with a flourish. A giant six over long on.